All right, um, welcome back. And today, I just came through this door. Um, we were in the hallway earlier, and Lully had told us that we need to talk to Jean Racine into helping us. <laughs> because apparently nobody gives a shit that there's a chance that the whole building will catch fire in a couple hours. No, it's more important that we get people to help us write musical notes and such. So, fantastic. Um, okay, so I believe that um, I wanted to go check out that sketchy dude that was leaving something suspicious in that um, what was it called? That cabinet or whatever we saw him in. So I want to see if we can get that open again. Is it here? I think it was here. No, oh, sweet, is it a key? Holla! Alright. What do I do with a key, though? Um, well, anyway, okay. Well, interesting. Some strange man left a key, and I'm suspicious. He might be the guy that's planning to set fire to things, or I don't know. It's very suspicious. Um, let's go find Jean Racine. He was at the ambassador's stairs. I'm hoping he didn't move because I have no time to run around this friggin' palace. Okay, um, how did we get there? I don't remember how we got there. I'm pretty sure it was not this way. Nope, it is not this way. through this way? No. Um, let's see. Why can't you tell me where everything else is? <sighs> that's really lousy. I don't know if that's because they just didn't feel like doing it or if they happen to be jerks. <laughs> oh, no. yeah, I can't go through that way. Um, Wasn't there another secret door? Maybe that's how we got to the ambassador's stairs. Oh, it looks like there's a painting missing. Oh, I know. Just looks awful. What's that? Oh, it's really <laughs> There's a little weirdness in the background. That's not the king, right? No. He's probably wondering why I took his pool cue. He's probably like, damn bitch. Oop, the music stopped. That's weird. Okay, well. Alright, I'm assuming you're still Hasin perfect. Let's kiss him. What can I do for you, young man? Do you have a thyroid problem? What is up with these faces? Oh my god, you were so scary. Um, yeah, so, Monsieur Lully wishes to know whether in the second verse of the idle piece there's da da da, because he doesn't Tell know anything. Him it is people sing the piece that give you joy. Okay, thanks. Jeez. This game would be a lot easier if they had cell phones in the 1600s. I could just text Lully and be like, BRB, got Hassin's message, people's piece. <laughs> <laughs> but no. People are too busy standing around motionless with scary faces to go talk to each other about what they need to be doing. It has nothing to do with me whatsoever. And yet I'm still being made to do it. <sighs> All right. I don't know how Lily's gonna help us in any way, figure out who's doing all this crap. Come on, come on, come on. Uh. Well, well. Have you the answer? 
I found Monsieur Racine. Here you go. Well, at least that's one problem solved. <laughs> For you, yes. The task is more arduous than I thought at first. I shall need more time. Now, take advantage of this situation to ask Monsieur Racine if he wrote a left hand in the fifth stanza. What? I don't want to. Go talk to him yourself. Oh my god. Um, what do I have? Fake sketch, small key to pamphlet, billiard cue, candle, paper. I hope I'm not taking things that end up not mattering and then I can't, you know, keep everything else later because that will really suck. <laughs> um, let's see. Do I need to take this? Ooh. Nope. Okay. Um. Great. Okay. I guess we have to go back to Hasin and get him to say all that stupid junk. Ugh, come on, this is so ridiculous. Oh, shoot, I was like, oh my god, I'm blocked. And well, it's clearly <laughs> um, safe to say that this game is hardly um, as entertaining as it was back in 1998 or 99 when I was playing this as a child. This is ridiculously annoying. I don't know why people would buy this game. Unless you're like a child who's really, really, really into, you know, 17th century monarchy and especially <laughs> Louis XIV and you're just dying to know about everything that happens here. Alright, let's go talk to him again. Well, what is it now? Really wants me to do his bitch handiwork. Will this harassment never cease? Tell me about it. Tell Monsieur Lully he should learn to read. <laughs> I wrote a deft hand. Not deft. Wow. Okay, so apparently Lully is an idiot. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't have given him the pamphlets to research. It might be too hard for his little brain. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, do they think that like making you have to do these things back and forth helps make the game longer and aka more fun? Because it isn't. Like, it feels like we're totally not even doing what the main investigation was. We're just helping out these people that we find. And I understand that it's supposed to make the game, you know, prolong the game and stuff, but it's not really interesting. It's just boring. All right. Well, well. Have you the answer? Yes, you're a moron. It's been confirmed. <laughs> I wonder if I should pick that one. Um. Let him first learn to write before giving me any lessons. <laughs> okay. Yes. I have solved it. Oh, good. But the solution is as mysterious as the code itself. It says, the cat and the rats. I leave you to guess what this might be. <sighs> Great. So, it's sort of like predator prey, basically. Someone is just being really obnoxious, having issues with all of this. Okay, um... Now what? Hmm. 
hate how this music skips, it's pretty annoying. Um, it's pretty, oh wait, no, there was a place here. Um, let's go here. This is, yeah. Ooh, mysterious. <laughs> Actually, I remember this part in the game, because I was like, why would they include this? Can I go take a shit? Oh. Oh, great. There is no purpose. Maybe I can leave some stuff in here that I didn't want to carry, after all. Candle. I don't want the billiard cue. Dang it. I don't want the random piece of paper. Dang it. Well, this was most uninformative. Um, where am I? What? Okay. Oh, wait. No. <laughs> okay. It said before, I remember seeing it, that this actually can be accessible. So, of course, we can't click from that angle for some stupid reason, so let's go here. Hmm. Very ugly. Is this the door? No. Nope. Um. Oh, thing. Nice. Um, draw on it. Oh, or take both. Great, now everything's full. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Does that mean I can carry more? I hope that does. Baller. Excellent. Okay. Um, great, now what do I do with this? don't want to figure this out. There's nothing else in here, so I guess we have to leave. Um, where are we? What room is this? Apollo. Okay. Um, what room is this? Mars? Okay. Oh, sweet. I just realized that if you press space, it actually cuts through the animation of moving. That is fantastic. Because that takes forever. Diana. Let's talk to him. None of your business. <laughs> Stop stalking me. Um, which way should I go? Is there a door behind here? No. Should we go through here? Because I feel like we already had been over there. This I'm getting so confused. Um, perfect. Okay. Um, I don't want to talk to him again. He's been kind of a dick. Can we get out of here? That'd be great. Be like, just run away. Run away. Awesome. Come on. Okay. I hear a fire. Isn't that fire? No, maybe not. Okay. Thought I heard a fire. Alright, well, um, we are now outside, and thank god, I'm hoping we're getting close to the end of this game. Um, we'll leave it here, and next time we will figure out what the hell are we supposed to do with this freaking piece of charcoal? Alright, peace.